we may not be able to meet you in person for inspections of properties at the moment, but what I'd love you to do is come on and have a walk through with me of 24 Lanthorn Crescent in Cranbourne East. Now, this stunning home is basically brand new. It has been beautifully finished and is in a prime location in walking distance to the Casey Fields Primary School. You've got childcare, you've got Casey Race across the road, um, surrounded by other very, very new and stunning homes. But this one is super privately set. We've got four bedrooms, two bathrooms and an oversized two and a half car garage. So let's go and have a wander through. So as we come in through the entry, obviously we go back to the front door. There you are here. We've got a beautiful wide entry for you here. Okay. And then we've got the double doors that lead through to the master bedroom. Now the master bedroom is a fantastic size. Um, you've got provision there for the pendant lights if that's what you choose to do. Beautifully finished with plantation shutters and of course your Roman block out blinds. But it's a great, great, great sized room. And because of the fencing out the front, these feature windows here allow a lot of light in during the day if you wish to, but still with the privacy that you require and desire. Now the walk-in robe is an absolute ripper. I know it looks a little bit full there, but we've got fantastic fitted cabinetry in there with shelving and drawers as well as copious amounts of hanging space. So that is a definite uh, definite plus here. Then through to the ensuite, we have got a very stylish dual vanity. We are stone bench top here, good amount of cupboards, door on the toilet, which is always a positive in my opinion. And then we've got this beautiful shower there with your niche here and your tiled base of course. So further through to the home, back into the entry. So here we've got a double, this is basically a coat cupboard or a general storage cupboard, those sort of things. And then if we just pop through, this is the first lounge, but just through here is your internal access to that massive oversized garage, which even has a rear roller door drive through for you as well. So there you're looking back, as you can see, you've got a lot of wide space. You've got raised ceilings. It's really, really quite, quite beautiful. Then we've got your formal lounge. One of the great things there, not only is the size, but the fact that you've got the beautiful lush carpets here, but you've got your tiles to the traffic areas, which makes it so much more practical and definitely more family wearable. Two options here. We could go down the hallway to the other bedrooms here, or we could go into the kitchen. I'm going to choose that we go into the kitchen because the kitchen is basically stunning. So I am loving these hexagon tiles here on the splashback and they do go all the way up here behind the range hood as well. You've got your 900 cooker. You have got stunning sleek finishings in this home. It's just really, really modern. 40 mil stone bench tops to the kitchen. You've got upgraded overhead cupboards here, which obviously don't come standard as you know, if you've been looking at building. Really, 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 really great sized Again, galley style kitchen with bench. You've got your dishwasher. And down here is your walk-in pantry. And you do have plumbing to the fridge cavity here as well. So you don't have to do anything. You just move in, basically. So then if we go over to here, this is your meals area. And you've got a really, really good sized area here, which is either just your casual living and meals area or whether you wanted to set it up more formally, have it as a, a, a rumpusy area, that is completely up to yourselves. Outside, we've got very low maintenance. So they've added in there is that amazing, amazing rear roller door access. You've got all your concreting already done. So here and just the right amount of lighting and everything that you require. Then out the back here, look, they did have it screened off at the time, um, but you have got an area at the back, obviously, which we'll see through the laundry shot, which is through to a grassed backyard area. Back into the family, we'll go down to the hallway three. So here's your, this is what I was saying about the laundry. This is 
to the back fence here. So you have got some leftover area. Don't forget as well, you've got the fence at the front. So you have got very usable land to the front as well for, uh, for play. So laundry. Now, one of the things to note here is it's the detail. So you've got the raised ceilings, but you've also got your upgraded doors and, and they're all the high doors as well. So we're not just talking a standard build here. Bedroom four. All the bedrooms are actually very well sized and they all do come with your double ropes. As we go up the hallway here further, we'll just go back. You have a separate toilet here, obviously, which is always practical. And then you have your main bathroom. And again, you've got your, your upgrade of your niche and your tiled base here in the shower as well. Again, stone into the, into the bathroom vanity also. One of the things here that I really like is this plantation shutter feature. So rather than having a hallway that, that doesn't have any light coming through or being completely separated from the main living area, because this is your kitchen and meals area on the other side here, it's just a lovely little peaky hole, which is really quite a nice design touch. And again, another bedroom. As you'll see, you've got aerial points and everything here. It's all, it's all done. You don't need to... Um, you don't need to worry about any of that. And then as we go up to here, this is bedroom two. And of course, we're back off to the lounge area here. So basically the key advantages from if you are a first home buyer, the key advantages here is that because of the age of the home, you are able to also get the um, $10,000 first home buyer's grant in addition to not paying stamp duty for the first $600,000 of your purchase. But this is not just for first home buyers. This would make a sensational downsize basically because it's extremely low maintenance. So for the, for the parents that have got the kidults who have got the grandkids in the estate and, and things like that. This is an absolute ripper that you should uh, seriously consider. It's got enough space. It's got the two living areas, but there's not too much to do outside. So this is the best of both worlds. And because you've got the oversized garage, then obviously, you know, there's room to, uh, to potter in there. Or if you're a car enthusiast or a tradie, perhaps who's potentially needing to do some work from home, that is certainly an option for you indeed. So I uh, hope you enjoyed your little walk through there at 24 Lanthorn Crescent. Obviously, if you would like to arrange an inspection of this fantastic property once the restrictions lift, I'd love to hear from you. Um, alternatively, click the, uh, the link and follow through for more photos and more details about this stunning property. And I will talk to you soon. My name's Joe Mooney. Thank you so much.